Uh, welcome back guys, I am Boone and today I want to talk to you about a less talent for destruction in PvP situation. So let's start. We got in the first position the Chartered Remains as level 100. The Chartered Remains says Incinerate and Conflagrate deal 60% less damage but generate 200% more Boning Embers. Fire and Brimstone can now also affect Chaos Bolt. So we got 4, 4, Burning embers, but we'll a will we are able only to start at one. Then I'm going to use the charter domain spell. It's a passive and incinerate and conflagrate create two hundred percent more faster the the burning embers. This mean more more cows, but more we are able to use our burning amber spell like amber tap cow's bolt and fire and brimstone now which are which are remains it's a fire and brimstone now can also affect the cow's bolt so i want to show you guys how this can work exactly so activating fire and brimstone and shooting a cow's bolt as you can see uh cow's bolt don't go on target like in past because um i i play a destro in mist of pandaria and i saw the effect working like this actually then you shoot your incinerate and you can see the spell reaching every target inside the range right but now this is a bit different you see the, um, the spell going through the first target and then going away near near the target as you can see the the right cow's bolt doesn't hit the physically the the dam uh, the target so um, this is a graphic a graphic change by the way every every target inside the 10 yard range uh, will be will be hit from the spell and my thoughts about this this talent can be pretty easily to discover because Chartered Remains create more Burning Embers and you can use the Chartered Remains with the Searing Flames. Searing Flames say Amber Tap causes 50% more healing and Refound 50% of hits Burning Embers cost. This means you can Amber Tap more and more through the arena, through the PvP content. But I think, I think, uh, these two, these two talents together can work pretty well, probably in 2S, when you don't have a lot of time to farm your embers, then you have a bit of healing, then you amber tap with only half with only half burn, burning amber and let's discover now the second talent <laughs> you have nothing to discover because uh, we talked a lot about cataclysm during the other videos and why why for me cataclysm is better even because i don't like the idea to do 60 percent less damage with incinerate and and conflagrate but I like every one minute, if possible, to burst a target while stun the healer or uh, rooting someone, then you can go for Cataclysm on target. And you can do something like this. You can do bursting with Chaos Coil and while coiling Cataclysm. And this can be pretty nice. Outside from the level 100 talent, I can say about the Glyph, as always, we can use Glyph of Conflagrate, sometimes Glyph of Havoc, and I don't know, I'm using the Demon Training because I tested the combo with the Succubus, but the problem is that combo is available only one time per 30 seconds because Seduction got 30 seconds cooldown. The combo was shooting one cow's bolt, 
and while casting you you started to seduction the target and the seduction will not break because the shadow bolt was already shooted and this combo took a very great nerf and what can i say about the third glyph we we'll probably can run with demonic circle or better dark soul dark soul uh, Tell to us, reduce the duration and cooldown of Dark Soul by 50%. So what we can do? We can use the Glyph of Dark Soul. Then we we can actually don't run with Archimon Darkness, but we can use Killjoy and Cunning instead. So this means uh, Dark Soul have 10 seconds duration and increasing my critical stack for 30% and got only one minute cooldown. So I can use Killjoy and Cunning and chasing my chasing my enemies while casting. So this can probably help me more instead of have double Archimon, Dark, uh, Archimon Darkness. And folks about Cataclysm and Charred Remains. Charred Remains, as I told before, um, you can use it very very well. Probably while in 2s. While in 2S or RBG and massive player content like Ashran, like 40 people BG, 40 versus 40 people, and Cataclysm can be very great in 3S. And I think Cataclysm can always have its spot inside the bra arena bracket. So don't think three seconds cast almost three seconds to two seconds and 90.86 it's not helpful to to cast but the damage is seriously great because it's 40k and with dark soul you got 30 percent more crit this main cataclysm can seriously boost your damage to burn down your enemies then i hope you guys like uh, this little guide uh, about the last pvp talent and glyphs so have fun guys see you from the next video and enjoy driner if you're playing beta see ya